Hello, this is my voice, my uh, annoying British voice, uh, for those of you who haven't heard it before, probably for good reason, but today I thought I'd do a bit of a different video format, just because I received a really exciting parcel today, and judging by the title of the video you already know what that is, this is the Medbury Miniatures Orc Warband that I just grabbed off uh, Forge Master Minis. Uh, it sets you back about 20 quid I think, uh, which is very worth it when you see the quality of these. I've actually already opened it. Um, I just forgot to record an intro. So let's get right into what you get in the package. So right off the bat you get these four nicely wrapped bubble wrap envelopes. Uh, inside of which I think is nine models. Uh, and a selection of bases for them. So here's what you get in the full set. Um, you get three guys with hammers. Three dudes with axes. Three dudes with swords. And then there's three different uh, shield variations, and you get two of each. You also get a, a nice selection of bases. And these, I think, are really good quality bases as well. I've had um, knockoff uh, GW bases before that aren't very nice and have a bit of a rounded edge. These ones are really nice. All right, we're just going to look at these a bit closer. So these are the Hammer Dudes. Really lovely detail here. Look at that face. I think the the aesthetic is perfect as well. They'll fit right in with the uh, the official Middle Earth sculpts. Like you even get some like um, armor designs and stuff that are in in the movies that the GW just didn't end up sculpting. I think. Uh, and these are the sword guys. Yeah, it's just fantastic. They're real good quality resin as well. I've had other sort of knockoff models that uh, just haven't nearly been as good as this. You get that kind of translucent resin. I think this is resin, but yeah, it's just like, look at it, it's perfect. Chainmail looking good. The poses are super natural looking as well. Like they don't look awkward and kind of stilted. Uh, I guess the the one thing I'm not overly jazzed about is the shields. They're lovely shields, but uh, they're all just kind of all just kind of the same circular design, which I know is kind of uh, more accurate to the the books. I think, but yeah, these are the three designs you get. You get a nice clean one, one with a bit more uh, metal detailing on, and then some extra rivets. But yeah, don't get me wrong, lovely shields. I think I'll just mix in some of the. Uh, the GW shields with them to get a bit more variety. And then these are the the axes. I love that helmet. Really nice. Yeah, the weapons are all really like sturdy, not not bent at all. Like you know. So GW could learn from that, I think. Um, lovely faces. Yeah, like hardly any cleanup as well, but it looks a bit needed. A, a bit of a flash here and there, but... So I've just moved things over to my uh, rather paint-stained uh, work table because uh, I thought I'd compare them as well with some of the uh, GW models. Uh, so we just have a look at the shields here. There's a couple of the Moran and Orc shields and one of the uh, original metal ones. Yeah, the size is good. Um, they actually seem to be more more detail. They've got nice wood grain on them there. Uh, much finer and more natural looking than the uh, Moranan sculpts there. Um, but yeah, I mean, this is not the best model to compare with because it's <laughs> kind of very old and, and ruined. This is the original Plastic Orc Archer and you can see just how far we've come <laughs> since then. Uh, the detail's much crisper there than... I mean, this is like what? 20 years old now, so can't complain too much. But uh, for size comparison, they fit very nicely alongside there. Um, here's one of the more recent Moranon Orcs. Obviously the Moranon Orcs are a bit bigger, but I think that's just how it's supposed to be anyway. But the detail is, again, it's just... <laughs> sorry, I just uh, I love it. All the fur, the texture work, it's lovely. And then finally, here's a uh, one of the OG 
very first Metal Orcs. So yeah, I think that the, this is, is just such a great collection of unique looking models as well. I don't think I mentioned that before, like every single one of them is completely individualistic and different. And that's one thing that I think some of the original Games Workshop models don't have is that you can very clearly tell that one is a different is using the same base model with a couple different details on top whereas these are all just incredibly different like there's a couple shared armor pieces but in terms of posing there isn't a single one that's the same but yeah